before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment smooth down below, man, because what this is going to do is enter you into a contest slash drawing to win either next-gen console at the end of the month if we can average over 10K views on these videos, and we are on track to do that, or you can win $50 cash app weekly. That happens no matter what. So it could be $50 to the cash app. It could be $50 uh, in VC. Or it could be, um, you know, I could buy you 2K if you don't yet have it. But I'm buying the regular edition, man. I'm buying the extra regular ass edition. I'm not buying you the Kobe uh, uh, or the Michael Jordan edition that's, that gets you, 50, you know, 100 bucks and all that. I'm not doing all that. But I will buy you the extra regular ass edition so that you can play the game uh, with your friends and all that good stuff, man. And now that we got all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all, boy. These steals and all this stuff, bro, is going crazy. Everybody's weighing in. Yesterday we showed y'all Chalk weighed in. Hey, today the legend himself, Chris Smooth, is weighing in on it, man. And we're just gonna get right to the video clip. This is gonna be a little bit of special video today, bro, because we're gonna do everything. Uh, you know, we're gonna do everything the right way. A lot of people got a lot of stuff to say about it, and I'm gonna weigh in on it, and I'm gonna just talk from the from the side that of logic, from the a point of reason. Because I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Nobody likes getting plucked. Nobody likes getting plucked. It, it just is what it is. It's embarrassing. You feel like you did something wrong, blah, 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 yakety smackety, and it feels like you had a lot of effort on your side. The other person didn't have a lot of effort. But at the same time, nobody likes it, and it's just one of those things where, but we can't alleviate it from the game because it's a necessary evil. Anyway, let's just get right into it, man. So this is number one, where he comes down court, and uh, you know he's, he, he gets the ball plucked, and he says, I got takeover, the ball in the left hand, the defender on the right, and a steal. Stamina is fine. No dribble guard moves. He just ran up and pressed square. And I'm not going to lie to y'all on that. At first look, that's, that appears to be what happens. We're going to deep dive into it in a second, and I'm going to show y'all exactly what happened on that one. Number two, he just says, here's another one. Another one uh, from the same game, holding L2 to protect the ball. You can hear him in the video if I had the audio on. It would say, I'm holding L2, I'm holding L2. The protect ball mechanic is so weak and useless. I need to do uh, new more than just turn. It needs to do more than just turn the body, uh, you know, to the side. And um, that's, that is, that is true. But now I'm going to offer you a... Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw this out there now and, and, and talk about we're gonna talk about the the uh the fate the check protect the ball joint bro, real quick. This is my guy. Conversely, this is these are the clips that you will never see. This is my guy one shot blizzy. And he says, he says, I'm like uh I'm like that, so the I'm like that. So the steals don't bother me because I I do the cheese that are hundred percent unable to get stolen that I don't see anybody doing, but I'm lobbying for my guards out there, Baluba to nerf up, but I'm lobbying for my guards out there, Baluba, nerf steals. So locks look like this lock on me. See how realistic that is. <laughs> bro, why are you trolling them? And pretty much what you see seeing right here, bro, we're gonna, we gonna go to big screen. We're gonna go to big screen on his. And it's just like, look, the dude is reaching on him. Like I said, these are clips that you never see. But the dude is reaching on him. One, two, that's two. He gonna reach on him again. Three, look at that. He's not able to get it. And then he just quick first step, go to the rim and he dunks the ball. These are the clips that you're never gonna see, bro. You're always gonna see the one where the person gets gets plucked under a sus, a, a very sus circumstance. But one thing I got for y'all, man, I mean, that's just, that's human nature, man. We're not gonna show y'all the stuff that's, that, that we feel like is working. We're gonna only show you what we feel like is not working. Now, what I'm going to do right here is we're gonna bring out Telestrator Easy, man. And y'all know how Telestrator Easy is, bro. I'm gonna show y'all these joints, but, um, I'm gonna show y'all these, but under a different circumstance or what have you. So let's just get right into it. Here we go. Tell us straight or easy in the house. All right, so check it out. What he did, he's gonna come down court and it looks like he just gets plucked. That's what it looks like, right? But running it back, you're gonna see right here. Look, look, right here. He's going to begin a hop back. Like the ball don't just go to the side because you're not doing anything. He's gonna do a hop back. I don't know if y'all can see it right here, but this is what we concentrating on, right? You're gonna see this hand go up. He's gonna try to do a hop back, which in my opinion is the right thing to do. You're getting crowded. You see this guy's running up on you. You're gonna try to do the hop back and then you're gonna get plucked. Let me tell y'all something. Me and Gambit, well Gambit told me this the other day, but, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run that. Y'all see him, you're gonna see him try. He's trying to do the hop back. Look, he's he gonna try to do the hop back. 
that's what he should be trying to do because like I said, that's your scrape dribble. But for some inexplicable reason in this game, when you try to do the hop back, it is a 100% steal if the person tries to steal the ball from you. It just is what it is. It, it, I, I don't know why it's like that, but we know it's like that. So I would say, you know, try to avoid this situation. I probably would have went in the protect ball right there and uh, done it. This is clearly the more egregious of the two, in my opinion. The dude just uh, he, I mean, it looks like he just run up and steal the ball. And that's what he did. But we're going to run it back. This is what I would say to that, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. Like, like, they outletted the ball. First of all, I'm talking to the center. Well, let me tell you what will happen here. Root will be talking to me because... I'm gonna be real with you. You got all these lanes. You got you got you got smooth right here. You got one guy right here. You got one right here wide open. I would be if it was me. Brute gonna be talking to me because he's gonna be like, "Bruh, why you pass me the ball right there with with one, two, three defenders and a fourth on the way. Everybody's on him. So right here, you know that he knows he's in trouble. Look at like I'm I'm just being real with you like. It's an unfortunate situation, and this, what ends up happening is egregious. But you see this guy come. <laughs> Yo, boy, you can Hey, it is what it is, bro. You see this dude come all the way over here. What do you think he's going to do? Now, what I would say is the best thing for you to do would be hit this guy, go into the rim. You can hit this guy that's blast, that's blast that's open, or you can hit this guy right here before the other guy gets done. So you got three passes. I mean, I don't understand it. But what we do see here is all these guys are around you, bro. You in the uh-oh circle. You in the uh-oh circle. You in the uh-oh uh -oh zone. And we already know what's going to happen. I can tell you what's going to happen from here. Does everybody feel like they know what's going to happen here? Like I said, everybody does clear. But the game ain't seeing it like that. That's, that's another thing that we got to see. And maybe that's a problem with the game. The game is not seeing it like that. The, this dude probably already has hit the button. He Y'all know how to delay. If you play lock, you know how to, them delayed steals happen. Sometimes you get a delayed steal. Sometimes you get a delayed foul. He probably, he probably has, like, he's coming around here, coming around his own guy. Bro, he probably, he's probably hitting steal right now. Like he's probably hitting the steal button right now and he's probably thinking that he's gonna shoot this hand over here because that's where the ball is. It's unfortunate that it gave him the animation where it allowed you to get there and then it just gave him that one. But in in his in his mind, he probably hit the button right here when he had a he clearly had a clear path to the ball. Now it played out in an unfortunate way and it looks like that, but all I can tell you is, bro, in that situation. That was a lot of people right there, and you had a lot of opportunity to pass the ball. And I do believe he probably did pass the ball, though, went into protect. But you actually hear him in the video saying, I'm protecting, I'm protecting. So you know that you're in a bad situation. But like I said, out of all of this, the number one thing that nobody saw is this. This is what I want y'all to see. The most important stat on this video. And then we're going we gonna to let it ride. This is the most important stat on this video. I'm going to wait for it to pop up. Boom. Y'all see it? I bet you don't see it. It is the third quarter with one minute and 38 seconds left. You've got one turnover, one. So I'm going to surmise that during this game, you had, um, you know, I'm gonna surmise that during this game, you only had two turnovers because, and, and that's what we saw. Again, we didn't see all during the game when um and i mean thank you thank you uh you know uh mr easy like i said you got one it's in the third quarter the second one was in the fourth quarter so you probably ended this game with two turnovers and and um you know that guy has some high stats and all that good stuff i i, I will say this those are two egregious steals but we didn't see i'm i'm guessing and i'm, I'm willing to bet that we probably didn't see during the game where you made some other mistakes that should have been punished and he feels like i got 99 steel i got this i got that and i didn't get rewarded or what have you because you can't tell me that that somebody can play a game for all that time you played three quarters and made no mistakes at all like uh, it, it, you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to look at it from a different perspective man i just i don't want to just just look at it like all the time 
I shouldn't have got ripped. Yeah, you shouldn't have got ripped. I ain't gonna lie. On those two, maybe you shouldn't have got ripped. But I can tell you that those are predictable because one on one of them you were in a crowd, and then the other one you did the hop back, and we know how that that's messed up. Both of them are messed up. One of them was an unrealistic lunch. The other one, the hop back. If you reach on the hop back, it's gonna get stolen at all times. So it is what it is. I hate that you're in that situation, but I mean, bro, you can't get mad. You got you got two turnovers in the whole game or what have you. But like I said, that's the part that we don't see. We don't see the, the stuff that one, like one shot Blizzy put out where, bro, they can't steal the ball from me and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. But hey, look, we gonna keep it moving, man. Up next, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm not really defending the steals. I'm gonna be cool either way because I'm gonna play defense either way. I'm gonna do what I want to. But I, we, we, we gonna get to it in a second, man. Up next, we got the boy Laker fan says, this is aging well. Seems like a reasonable, reason, more reasonable every day. And like we said, hey, buff clamps, nerf glove. If y'all want to do that, I'm all for it. But I gotta be able to get a body on people. I gotta be able to play defense still, man. Because if you can't, if you take, if you take it away the way that Clamps is right now, then guards are literally gonna have no fear of you. They know they can dribble into you. They know they can do all of that good stuff. They already doing it, and most of the times they get away with it. And like I said, we really only see the times when they when they get plucked or they get it stolen. Do y'all think that two plucks over the course of an entire game with, against somebody with a 99 steal is unreasonable when you when you quite possibly got 90 steal, 90 dribbling or 80 some dribbling or something like that? I don't know. I can't tell y'all, man, but you know it is what it is. Uh, we, we gonna get to my thoughts really in a second though. Um, also, Laker fan also says to say you shouldn't ever get the ball stolen when somebody is behind you is pretty ridiculous to be honest. Then he goes on to say, I think I think the only thing that needs to be slightly patched would be pluck steals. It uh pluck steals with glove on Hall of Fame. I can agree with that. Like I said, we're not being unreasonable. We just want it to be done correctly. Me running with silver glove and a 90 steal for the most part is actually impossible for me to get a pluck steal against people with 90 plus ball handle and gold unpluckable. I agree with this sentiment. Now, again. Like a fan and I probably play different. When you see me play, I press the button one time and I get the steal. You don't see me spamming, spamming, spamming. You can look at all these games. You can check my stamina. If I do it more than one time, I'm trolling. I'm just like, hey, bro, I'm doing it again. I'm going again. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three. But me and Gambit definitely agree that your first adrenaline bar that you burn is normally the, the best bar that you got. Now, he just says, I think deep down, almost zero guards have... <laughs> Have, have down court vision and and press beating uh, dribbling moves in their bag. I've never seen a dude talk about what the best move crossover for uh, for beating the press and so on with the other full court moves. And I agree with that too, man. It is what it is. I, I definitely understand what they're saying though. Like I said, I'm not saying that you don't got a beef if you think that plug steals are a little bit ridiculous. I'm just saying we got to look at things from both perspectives. These guys got badges too. These guys got ratings too. These guys got everything. But like I said, we're going to keep going, man. And we're going to talk about what my boy One Shot Blizzy said, man. He says, AJ, question. If a, if a point guard has to have IQ and do, uh, do this and that not to get ripped by a lock, what does the lock have to do besides pressing next? So, I mean, I, I feel like you got to press it at the right time, but you could probably spam it and then it will coincide with the right time, I, I guess. You know, so the point guard has to be skilled, but little Timmy, can't, little Timmy with the, um, with X, with the X button and Hall of Fame glove doesn't have to think or plan anything. How is that balanced? And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I just, I just told him straight up. You really don't want to ask me that question because to be honest, the game dribbles for you. And nine times out of 10, when the person reaches, you don't lose the ball, regardless of how egregious your mistake is. His character ratings and badges, just like your, I mean, Matt, I mean, he has, his character has ratings and badges just like yours. So in a lot of ways, I feel like it's equal. Jay-Z went on to say, miraculously, nobody complained last the last couple of years when people could with a 99 three ball could hit with their eyes closed and if we're being honest with ourselves the steals are annoying but i don't really see them happen all that often to people with high ball handling he goes on to say it may need to be touched but not as badly as everyone is saying i just want them to be mindful of how they touch it so that we don't have a repeat of last year like I said, very level-headed, this Jay Easy guy. I really f with him. And then he, you know, he finishes up by saying, if you think about it, if you think about it uh, this way somewhat, nobody complains when they got an 84 driving dunk and a center has 99 interior and 99 block and they dunk on it. 
the chat just gets crunk. Meanwhile, the guys left thinking, how do my badges not work? The truth is they work just not 100%. And that's what we got to keep in mind that there's nothing 100% in the basketball game, man. It's the game. It's a game, it goes by percentages, and nothing is gonna be 100%. So, like we said, even though Chris Moore was protecting the ball, and in my opinion, he did do everything right. He did everything right. And it still happened. That still doesn't mean that steals need to be nerfed. It just means that that 90%, that 10% chance, that was the 10%. We just saw the 10% right there. The 10% is going to manifest itself, and because it's such a low percentage, and we know that it's a low percentage because he only had one turnover in the game at that point, in, in the third with one point, with one uh, 38 left, like, are you just that good that you just never made a mistake? I'm sure he made other mistakes that he didn't get punished for in that game. They just, that 10% just manifested itself those two times, and it's going to be ugly when it happens sometimes. But at the same time, you got other guys out there dribbling the ball, and they lose it all the time because they make very egregious mistakes. That means that Chris Moo got very good ball security, very good ball handling. He's mindful of what he's doing, and it just happened. It's just going to happen. Sometimes it just happens. You can't plan for it. It is what it is, man. Uh, but does that mean that they need to be touched? I don't know. I'm going to keep being on the side of... If that happened every single time, like I said, with the step back, that, that's going to happen. That's going to happen damn near every time. Maybe they need to take it off the step back and the unrealistic lunch, maybe. But like I said, we know you know it's going to happen on the step back, so don't step back in this situation. Protect the ball. I mean, and, and or sometimes you just going to get plucked, bro. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like I said, these guys got ratings. They paid for their player just like you did, too. Why should they pay for their player and their player doesn't work? It already don't work, but like 10% of the time. So so why should they pay for their player to only something, a rating to only work 10% of the time and get overpowered by yours? And they, we don't even want it to work the 10% of the time. I don't know, man. It is what it is. Hey, up next, community clips, man. Speaking of dunking on people and stuff like this, six foot guard. This is by my guy. Hold on, let me see what this is. This is by Jap uh, Japan J. Now, hey, he got a six foot guard. He out here, they get the board. Go down court, and if you can hear the audio, look at he gonna go baseline on four people, right? Baseline on four people, right? And he just, I'm sure he don't have 99 dunking or high 90 dunking or anything like that. And those are some big rim protectors down there, like that that's, that's coming and jumping. But hey, he still completed the dunk. I like it. We these are the things that we get crunk for, and we and we like for to happen in the game. But like I said, when the ratings don't match up, but they don't match up in our favor, we cool with it. But when we don't, I hate to be, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm I hate to use your clip to to be to be my uh to be my guy or uh, my thing, Jay. I mean, I, I know you was really doing your thing because you sound hype in the clip, bro. So I really rock with it, and uh you know, GG to you and all that. But I'm just saying. He's a six foot guard. He just dunked on the whole team. We ain't got no problem with that. Up next, we got my boy Q the guard. This is his highlight. This is your highlight, Q. Hey, his link will be down in the description. He says, I'm him. I am the best 1v1 player of all time. This is a guy that's not going to have no trouble scoring them 100,000 points because it ain't now you can do with Q, bro. Now you can do with him, man. He's been doing that forever, though, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. His link to his Twitch will be down in the description, man. One of the only two people that got better locks than me, man. Oh, yeah, and last but not least, bro, we gotta hit this one right here. Community Clips say just me during the respawn timer. Get it, get it. Oh, she f***ing that shit up. <laughs> I think that's all of us during the respawn timer, bro. It is what it is. Community Clips ain't just about the game. Anyway, I understand what y'all saying, though, bro, and I do rock with y'all. I really feel like Maybe something does need to be done, but um, you know, uh, you know, I, I I really don't know what that is, man. And like I said, I do agree that those uh, those are two egregious joints, but at the same time, let these guys have something, man. He had one, he bro, he had one one pluck the whole game. That dude probably been pressing square the whole game. You just seen the one pluck and a last minute. Uh, hey, this is the last minute uh, entry into the community clips, man. Blue hitting them. Blue hitting them. Let me see what he's talking about with the uh, with the uh, with the small point guard, man. Let me see what we talking about, man. What you talking about, Blue? Talk to him, Blue. Look at him get that corner. He the same speed as a 6'9", ain't he? Ain't he the same speed as a 6'9"? Uh, uh. Get on to that rim on them big guys. Look at him come down here, but nobody gonna complain about this either. Though. I already seen the clips, so I can tell y'all what's gonna happen. But I'm not gonna tell y'all what's gonna happen. Look at this. Look at him stop that big. Look at him stop that big man inside. Not once, but twice. But he's just gonna say, I'm like that. I'm, and then he goes to the other end and score that thing, man. But he's just gonna say, hey, look, we just saying, I'm like that. I'm on my stuff. I'm on my shit. 
But hey, you know, it is what it is. I get it though, man. I, I definitely understand. But at the same time, should that happen? I'm sure that, that dude got more ducky than what. All I'm saying is we can pick apart the game and look for every situation where it doesn't match up the way that we want it to. But in the in the re what re in what really really matters is most of the time you're gonna it's gonna be favorable for you more often than not that's all i got man anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i am not saying that those still should have been gotten but i'm saying that he was able to protect the ball that game way more than he got plucked you got plucked twice it is what it is but if they can figure out a way to take those out he probably wouldn't have got plucked none you're absolutely right so you know it is what it is but it's percentages and when you're playing percentages nothing is 100 percent Dang, bars. Anyway, put smooth down in the comment section if you made it this far, man. Get entered to win your um to win all your stuff. The uh, next vent, next gen console and all them. Holla at y'all next time till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, speak, guys, speak.